Solving something like this means we need to find the value of x, which makes it true. So 5 ninths of some number x is equal to 2 thirds. If we think about it, 5 ninths is close to 1 half. So we're saying roughly that half of a number is equal to 2 thirds. Half of some number is equal to 2 thirds. That original number has got to be close to double 2 thirds, which is 4 thirds or 1 and a third. So that's a way of thinking about it, but to prove it exactly, what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 5 ninths, which of course is going to be 9 fifths. So if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. Next to the x, this has the effect of canceling out. The 9 cancels the 9, the 5 with the 5, and that leaves us simply with x on the left-hand side, which is what we're interested in. On the right, I can simplify between the 9 and the 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times, which makes that a 1. And that leaves me with 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And 1 times 5 is going to be 5. So the answer is 6 fifths, which is equal to 1 and 1 fifth because uh, 5 goes into 6 one whole time, hence the whole number of 1, with 1 left over, hence the 1 fifth. So my estimate was that it was something like uh, 4 thirds or 1 and 1 third. 1 and 1 fifth is in that same ballpark, so I can have some level of confidence in my answer that x is going to be equal to uh, six fifths or one and one fifth. All we had to do was multiply by the reciprocal of the number which was next to our x variable. Hope that helped. Thank you.